Well, hello. I'm glad y'all are used to me. I went to the doctor's office and I wore my, this is my blouse and my skirt looks like that. <laughs> and I had this hat on and my shoes, which are lime green. And I felt like a hillbilly. I really needed my tag for um, any pearl. <laughs> I just felt so silly. And my fingernails are filthy because I've been in the pond. I mean, not the pond, sorry. I've been working in the garden, digging in those daylilies, digging holes with my fingers. Anyway, so I felt really terrible. And then, I wore my, my raincoat, which looks like this. So, my hat, with my raincoat, and my lime green, bright lime green shoes, they're neon green. I really looked, a, looked, a, looked like a joke. I felt so bad wearing this coat. I, I mean, it just felt so drab and dark and dreary. Uh, maybe I should paint flowers on it or something and dip it in yellow paint. Now there's a thought. Die. Have the patience to die. Oh, let me strip it. Strip the gray out. Hey, if I bleached it long enough, maybe I would get... You know, if you bleach something just a little while, you get tie-dye, which is quite pretty. Maybe I should do that. It's a London fog coat. And it really beads the moisture up, but I suppose if I dyed it, or bleached it, it would wreck the anti-water property. Well, that's the truth. So, my doctor, she told me I could take my ibuprofen, I could take three, two ibuprofen every four hours, or three ibuprofen every four hours was going to be okay. Or no, four times a day. Not for every four hours. I don't usually take it that much. Unless, I mean, I don't take it that many at a time. Sure doesn't seem to be working today, though. My fingers hurt. <sighs> My fingers never hurt. I have nice fingers. My fingers and my hair, which used to be beautiful and long, and my toes, my feet. Those are my selling points. I'm sold. Sold to the moon. Anyway, so, um, it's raining. I should feel very happy about the rain. Happy, happy, happy. So we really need the rain. I'm going to get out there and try and dig in the rest of those plants. This, I had to fill out this questionnaire about and everything was easy at one end and impossible at the other end. And so, do gardening. Easy, impossible. And where is it in the scale? See, when I put my mind to it, I'll do anything. Slowly, actually, but I'll do it. And I'll figure out a way to do it easily. I'll figure out a way meters. where it's not Turn heavy. Left on Hill Street. <sighs> anyway, so, um, it's raining. I just told you that, and you could see for yourself. So I'm supposed to get an MRI on my hips. And she had put it in the requisition, but I never got the call. And maybe... I was traveling earlier. Maybe it came back in January or something. The MRI, they have um, lots of MRI requests. And, you know, all of Ontario would, would not fit into Texas. Kind of a big place. Anyway, so the MRI machines are being used round the clock. 
so you can get a, an appointment to get an MRI at 3 in the morning or on a Sunday, a Sunday afternoon or morning or anything, anytime, because they're in use around the clock. I guess they cost a lot, and so they're not buying them all fast. I know it looks bad, doesn't it? It looks really bad for our health care. I love our health care. So I'm going to go across to Quebec. They're sending me to, across to that hospital in Mount Fort or something. More cool to have it done over there. Probably because the population is Quebec and slower. is the Ontario Hospitalization, Ontario Health Insurance Plan. And Quebec has the Quebec Health Insurance Plan. Cute. Well, I think I'm going to go to sleep now. Oh wait, I'm driving. It's okay, I can do two things at once. Sleep and drive. Doesn't everyone? Oh, you know, the rain is so pretty. What's the temperature? It's 18, but you know the pond was really warm, two feet down from the top. That was really warm, and, it, and the breast wasn't too cold. But you still have to, it's still up to my wrist if I dive in, but my arms above my head, it still goes up. It's still seven feet or more deep, I would think. But it's really dropped. It's about two feet down from its original post-winter level. It drops, everything drops really quickly in August. That's the way August has always been. The streams, they get down to a trickle. Well, not a trickle, but they get a lot less. But you know, when it rains, I love going to the pond in the rain. I guess you know that. How do I know? Because one of you commented, maybe two of you had commented about it. If you don't like it when I post singing in the rain, or swimming in the rain, I haven't heard from you. Sometimes I just ignore those kind of comments because really, what are they going to do? Change my life? It's like teenagers, you know, you get this thicker skin where you just ignore so I don't even notice. I'm a mother. I've heard it all. Been there, done that. Five times, even. It must be good. Or just bad for a long time. Nonsense. Alrighty then, so, um, well, away we go. <laughs> you hang up now. In case you see me fall asleep at the wheel. Now with man pizza. I would have to be really be careful. So you know what? I think my house is empty. Abe's friends stayed over. And Dad and Oma, have, or Willem and Oma, have, Willem and his mother, have gone to drive them to town. And then... Lida and Jean, the baby, are going off to town. So guess what? I'm going to get home and I'm going to have the house all to myself. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to go in the house very much. I'm going to go in, I'm going to get an apron. I'm going to wear an apron that I don't care about that I can get muddy. Hey, one of my pottery aprons would work swell. Now, 18 Celsius, that's about, it's just under 70, so it's 68 degrees. That tree sure looks like it's clean. So, I don't know if I want to work in the rain when it's cold. I could put on a wetsuit and work in the rain. A wetsuit with an apron. Then I could get wet, and I would still be warm. 
I would not get it all muddy because I would have on my pottery apron. And then I can make a big mess. I'm going to the temple in a couple of days. Not such a good thing to have dirty fingernails in the temple. You know how in the bathtub, you soak in the bathtub where you take a shower and your fingernails get really, they get all clean? I soak in the pond. I'll be in the pond for as long as I would have been in the shower. And they don't get clean. Maybe it's because I don't soak all over them. That's the difference. I'll have to take fleece and wrap up my soaps. That's what I'll do. I'll make filtered soaps. That'll clean my fingernails. I'll do that when I'm all done planting all these plants. I have so many to plant. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm very thrilled. I went all the way to Ottawa and back. I had a less than 15 minute along appointment with her. And she looked at my knees and said they're okay. But she wants to see what the hips look like, so she wants that MRI. I guess I had x-rays done two years ago, and the x-rays are not yet, or the x-rays are outdated, because in two years there could have been more damage. But you know, I take all this ibuprofen, which keeps the inflammation down. It ought to do it. I guess I've been chatting a long time. I guess if, this is, if you're watching this because it's ASMR, I think I probably put you to sleep by now. Do you think you've been put to sleep by now? Now some people would say this is not ASMR. They think that ASMR is something like scratching or ticking your fingers on the tabletop or whispering. They turn up the volume really loud so that they can whisper the hear it really loud. But other people say that my voice is ASMR. I mean I put myself to sleep. So to put some people to sleep. A couple of us have a hard time sleeping. <sighs> I never fell asleep watching anything except, well, I guess the odd Netflix show I would doze off. But um, I was, I watched something about daylilies. And he was going on about the daylilies and walking through the garden. And it was a great video. It was really educational, very informative. But you know what? I fell asleep. So I saved it so I could watch it later. I'm getting to learn lots of stuff about daylilies. I know a whole bunch of varieties now. The ones I have. At least I know them this year. By next year I will have forgotten everything. You have forgotten everything, Nancy. So, I shall make steaks. Now I have 23 different varieties. Well, actually not all 23 different varieties. 23 clumps. And many of them, there was two. I would say there's 12 different varieties. I would say. Inflammable. Now doesn't inflammable, flammable means it could catch fire. So inflammable should mean it can't catch fire, right? It's inflammable. It won't catch fire. But why does inflame mean to make angry? Inflammable. He's quite inflammable. It doesn't mean not able to burn. I don't understand this English language. If you say to somebody, oh, turn on the car and give you a ride to the corner. Now, does everybody know what that means? It means you're going to go out to the car and you're going to turn the key until the car turns on and you're going to give your friend a chance to sit in your car and you will drive to the corner them to them they can get out there. Okay? Now, in the South, they say, I will crank up the car and I'll carry you to the corner. I can't remember saying carry you. Can you carry me to school? 
But if you ever said that to here, people think, what do you mean? I'll pick you up and carry you in my arms to the corner? I don't think so. Or crank up the car? What do you mean? It's got a big crank on the front. You gotta go. Still no mail. Or maybe Willem got the mail. I am waiting. The three packages. Or at least, no, four. Actually, I'm not waiting. There's one package that's supposed to be coming from Australia. And there's another package. Somebody from California said she was going to send me, but then she said she didn't have it ready. And then she said that she might not get around to it for a while. She wanted to have it here by Christmas. And so then she hasn't talked to me since, which I mean, I must mean that she's feeling guilty because she didn't finish whatever it is she was going to finish, which I never, I mean, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me if you don't send anything. And then there's somebody else that also said they were going to send something. And now they're doing something else and going to send two things together. And then there's another person from much longer ago. Who grew up. <laughs> oh no, I've gone on too long. Well, I'm gonna go, so time to wake up. Wake up! Bye.